and sisters in this business that are bowling, bowling. Regina King was there that night. Angela Bassett was there that night. Lynn Whitfield was there that night. Curry Washington was there that night. There's some sisters that are truly bought it, bought it because they sat back in those chairs and they were looking like what we know Monique ain't doing is lying. That's what we know she ain't doing. So when it comes to Oprah Winfrey, let me be clear so people I'm a little black fat girl from Baltimore, Maryland. And I saw this fat black woman on a TV show called People Are Talking. That was a local show. And she had big shoulders and a big bush and big feet like me. And I said, wow, when I grow up, that's what I want to do. And then we took a field trip to that studio. And I hugged that woman. And I said, when I grow up, Miss Winfrey, I want to do what you do. And she said, you know, you got to work really hard. So the day I walked out on that stage to the Oprah Winfrey show, and I was promoting Roscoe Jenkins. And after that show, that woman hugged me and said, when I look at you, I ain't doing nothing but looking at me. And then when I remind her that that's what she said to me, she says, oh, I said that to everybody. Well, then what does that make you? Everybody reminds you of you? Or do you just say things in the moment? So when I say to our community, I know Oprah Winfrey when the curtains are closed. I know when the cameras aren't running. That's why Oprah Winfrey does not want to sit down publicly with me nor my husband to have a conversation because within minutes, the community will know who Oprah Winfrey really was because what she's not used to is anybody asking her any questions. I'm the deliverer. I'm the author, I'm the authority of all life and all beings, and I know it all. And someone would ask, well, how? It's the Ace of Pentacles for me, popping right out, right before we get started, Ace of Pentacles. What is this, some type of new offer, Virgo? You got a new job? It's a new position? It's something stable? It's something that's being handed to you. Something being gifted to you. I'm getting somebody just giving you some shit, Virgo. Is it Oprah? It's giving like Oprah. Like, you get a car. You get a car. You get a car. Everybody get a fucking car. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. Let's go. What is the Ace of Pentacles? What is the Ace of Pentacles? The Six of Pentacles. What I say, Virgo? It's like you getting donations. I'm getting like, you getting patronized. I'm getting like tips. For those of you who do like uh, waitress work, y'all waitresses, y'all getting tits. Stash that shit right off of your fucking pocket. Six of Pentacles, what is this? Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I'm getting somebody giving you something indefinitely with this, uh, with these two cards here. What is this? The High Priestess, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. It's a big shift. It's a shift. That you was already expecting, Virgo. <laughs> uh, the Nine of Swords, and then you have the t the uh, title card. Look at that. Mm. Laughing, turn to crying. What is this? Nine of Swords and the title. I'm getting like a, a situation that's stressing you out, Virgo. This could be some type of um paperwork. I'm hearing legalities. What is this? Nine of Swords, and then you have the title. Yeah, the star card, and then you have the devil. It could be a, um, an Aquarius. I'm getting a relationship. Someone wants a relationship with you here, Virgo. I'm getting they're trying to fix a relationship. I'm getting like a struggle in relationship. Virgo, you got a struggle in relationship? Who is this? The devil? It could be a Capricorn. Someone finds you highly influential. But in the occult, like in the occult only. What is this? Mm, the Four of Wands reverse, and then you have the Four of Pentacles. I'm getting this is someone that you've um, you've lost, you've lost a uh, a foundation with. I'm getting this is someone that you've lost, or they they lost you. Four of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn. I'm getting it's a Capricorn that lost you, Virgo. It's like you're not fucking with them no more. Four of Wands reverse. I'm getting you don't want rectification. 
You don't want the stability or the foundation that comes with this person. What is this? The Hermit. Look at there. And then you have the uh, Eight of Wands. It's giving like ghosts. You went ghost on somebody, Virgo? Who is this? Gemini energy? Now, Virgo, you know you and a Gemini. You know y'all twins, for real. Ruled by Mercury. You know they all in their head about you. Eight of Swords. Mm, 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 mm. Virgo, you got this person touching like the uh, the depths of their soul. I'm getting this person is doing soul searching because of you, the star. I'm getting fixings as well. Some of you could be doing fixings on your home with this star card here. And then you have the devil. Look at there. I'm getting like a feature, something to do with your body. I'm getting like body features, Virgo. What you trying to do? Some of y'all could be trying to get surgery, the star of the devil. You about to go under that knife? What is this? I'm seeing like, um, I'm seeing some of you working out as well. The star, the devil, the wheel of fortune. I'm getting running. Some of you may be running, taking a jog, something like that. I'm getting like a, a treadmill as well. I'm getting like you're working on your abs. Something to do with abs here. Yeah, the two of cups. And then you have the king of wands. Yeah. I'm getting you're working out for your person, Virgo. You putting in that work <laughs> for your person. I try to get your body tight and right. I, I got to keep up. <laughs> I know that's right, Virgo. You better keep up. Look at their four of cups. I'm getting your discontent with something. Four of cups. Some type of offer. I'm getting you're not paying attention to this person. This person wants relationship with you. Two of cups, king of wands, four of cups. But it's like you're not even focused on this offer. Four of cups, you're not focused on them. You don't give a fuck. Look. It's like I don't give a fuck. The Virgo does not give a fuck. Two of cups, king of wands. It's somebody new. Somebody pleaded your pipes. Who is this Virgo? King of wands? This somebody new. Two of cups. This is soulmate. This soulmate clean to your pipes very well, Virgo. Let's go to your <laughs> look at the air. <laughs> Virgo, this person cleans your pipes very well. This plumber, this is a plumber. What's this? Yeah, carpenter. Some of y'all could some of y'all could be getting like um carpentry work done. Something like that. I'm getting like a kitchen. I'm also getting menu selection, something to do with like um, maybe paint selections. Some of you may be like trying to find out like what color you want to paint your, your room or your home, the sun. Four of Wands are versed. I mean, I'm getting like repairs on a home, something to do with home. Yeah, Seven of Cups. I'm getting this is something that could be confusing you at this time. Like you may not be for certain on or like for sure which color paint you would like to pick or which option you would like to go with. With whatever menu you're looking at, I'm getting like a selection, seven of cups, ten of swords. Like I said, I'm getting someone enjoys you, Virgo, sexually, ten of swords, the devil, something about your behind area. I'm getting ten of swords. I'm getting they like to see you from behind, seven of cups. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're behind, confused somebody, Virgo. Your ass throw somebody off when you walk past, they like. Everything stop the world. <laughs> what is this? Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords, the world. Look at this. It's like Ten of Swords. You not even paying attention. Seven of Cups, they all up behind you looking at everything you got going on. Looking at your waist. But it's confusing of the world. <laughs> I'm getting you're being watched, Virgo. This could be someone that you've ended something with. Ten of Swords could have came to a painful end. I'm getting a revelation. Ten of Swords. And then you have the Seven of Cups. Someone's confused about you, Virgo. Since you've ended things with them, the world could be an Aquarius. Two of Cups and then you have the King of Wands. I'm getting someone is highly or like very passionate uh, about you, Virgo. Page of Pentacles. I'm getting Capricorn energy. This could be your child. Like your child really loves you, Virgo really sees uh, eye to eye with you at this time, something like that. I'm getting you take uh, you take a, a load off of them, Seven of Cups. I'm getting you take away the confusion that they may be going uh, through, Seven of Cups, the world, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
you know you're gonna put some shit in place, Virgo. <laughs> Look, let me holler at you for a minute. Two of Swords. <laughs> Two of Swords. I'm getting a situation here, Virgo, where you're closed off. I'm getting closed off to this person. You may be leaving someone to figure something out for themselves. Seven of Cups, Two of Swords. Like, you may give someone tough love. Two of Swords. It's like, figure it out yourself. Two of Swords. I'm getting a situation here, Virgo, where you're um, undecided. So you may not be saying anything. You have four of swords. I'm getting you put a situation to rest. Six of swords. And then you have the three of swords. Hey, look at there. I'm getting you put you put a situation to rest and you moved on with your heartbreak. I'm getting like you took your heartbreak and you, you moved on. Or you're moving on. Six of swords. I'm getting you're being divinely pulled or guided by people you can't see or hear. I'm getting hidden helpers. Six of swords. Three of swords. I'm getting someone's disappointed as well. Someone could be disappointed in you, Virgo. This could be your hidden helpers. Your hidden helpers could be disappointed in you. Some of you could have failed to follow divine guidance. What is this? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting more work, Virgo. I'm getting slow moving, but more work. I feel like uh, the damage has been done. I'm hearing the damage has been done. And I'm getting more work or more repairs. What is this? Ace of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting that's the truth. Something about the truth here or uh, communication. I'm getting uh, some type of letter, Virgo. Someone's going to come through with a, with a letter or some type of communication. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. It's going to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is this? I feel like they're going to speak something to you, Virgo. I'm getting whatever they're communicating. It's official. What is the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords? The Fool. I'm getting a new beginning. Someone wants a new beginning here with you, Virgo. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting they're trying to uh, force a new beginning or force your hand. Someone's hand is going to be forced. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. I'm getting a business or I'm getting some type of mission. Someone could have been on a mission here, Virgo. The Fool, the Queen of Wands for a new beginning. Some shit like that. What is this? Someone could have been on a secret mission. Queen of Swords. Yeah. An Aquarius. What is the Queen of Wands? What is the Queen of Wands? The Lovers. And then you have the Knight of Wands. So I'm getting this is uh, someone who's trying to save face. Or this could be a Gemini. Someone who's very two-faced. And then you have the Knight of Wands. I'm getting a situation where someone have the... I'm getting a situation here, Virgo, where someone may have been uh, very reckless to you. Some shit? What is this? The Knight of Wands. The Lovers. I'm getting this is um, a separation that may have came off very reckless to you, Virgo. Knight of Wands. Like, you may have found this situation to be, like, you know, reckless to who you are. Like, you know, <laughs> bow the fuck down. The Empress. The bow down. The Hermit. Mm -mm, the High Priestess. I'm going to bring you to your knees. The Ten of Pentacles. For sure. I'm going to put that work on you for sure. Ten of Pentacles. What is this? I'm getting lineage or family. Mm -hmm. I'm getting stability as well. I'm getting there's fights, Virgo, over stability or over money. I'm getting like family fights. I'm getting like um, a long history of fighting or a long history of conflict. What is this? I'm also getting stress. Yeah, three of cups. Could be, um, it's giving me a group. It's giving me a coven. It's giving me like three people or more. It's giving me water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Three of Cups. Let's clarify this. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. It's giving me like gossip. You know, it's a it's a lot of gossip about you, Virgo. I'm getting like the talk of the town. You the talk of the town. As always. Motherfuckers always got your name in, in their mouth. Motherfuckers always got your name in their mouth. For what? I don't know. For what you don't know. For what we don't give a fuck. Knight of Swords. We don't give a fuck. We gonna keep it pushing anyway. Ten of Pentacles. It's like stop. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Stop. Like stop. You'll be forced to stop. Nine of Cups. You'll be forced to sit out. Nine of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. Virgo. I'm getting your wishes will be fulfilled. I'm getting fame. Or some type of renown energy. Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting a long, long line of money 
I'm getting a long history. I'm getting like a long time being stable, Virgo. I'm getting like a long time of being famous and renowned. Seven of seven of pentacles. I'm getting it's your discernment. I'm getting your discernment is your fame. I'm getting your discernment is your stability, Virgo. Your discerning spirit. That's your stability. I'm getting a long time coming. I'm getting like Virgo, be motivated to take action towards your discern your discerning gifts. Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting investments. Whatever you invest in, creative wise, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups. I'm getting be more motivated into getting like, getting into it. Seven of Pentacles. Like, get more creative. Ace of Cups. I'm getting put work into it. Put actual emotion into it. Ace of Cups. If you have to travel, do that. Cause I'm I'm getting like um. I'm getting a beach or something like that. Some of you may want to do something on a beach, Ace of Cups, or like near a body of water. I'm getting do it, Six of Cups. Could be something to do with your children. This could be a love offer, maybe um, from someone of the past. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. I'm getting a situation here, Virgo, where someone wants to work something out with you. I'm getting they want you to empathize with them. I'm getting they want empathy now. Somebody wants sympathy now. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. I'm getting they want to they want to cooperate, something like that. I'm getting someone's cooperating. Someone could be um, cooperating with the feds. Ten of Cups, yeah, some type of um, group. I'm getting someone could be uh, cooperating here. Ten of Cups. This could be a family dynamic. What is this? Seven of Wands, yeah. I'm getting this as a knowing. You could have a knowing of this, Virgo. Seven of Wands. I'm getting like, you could, You may have blocked this person out for your happiness as well. Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups. It's like, you know, only smiles over here. We don't need that, you know, that bullshit. Seven of Wands. That shit that you know comes with them. Seven of Wands. Let's go further. Yeah, Five of Swords. And then you have the Eight of Cups. It's like, you know... Always trying to win at all costs. Always trying to, you know, see somebody hurt. That evil shit. Eight of Cups. A evil motherfucker. You know who wanna who wanna see, you know, shit going on. Who wanna see uh, you know, somebody hurt, somebody, you know, down and out. Eight of Cups. He had a page of cups and then you had a nine of wands. Look at there. It's like they wanna make you an offer, Virgo, to come fuck your shit up. To come cause destruction in your life. It just gives me that you know better than that. I feel like you're ready for this person as well. Nine of Wands. Yeah, look at there. I'm getting it's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. What is this? So you have the Five of Cups, the Tower, and then you have the Seven of Swords. I'm getting a realization, Virgo. You could have had a download. Maybe that someone was regretful of deceiving you. Like you may have had a revelation. The tower, that's like a revelation or a dream. I'm getting you may have had a revelation or a dream that someone was was like deceiving you or stealing from you. I'm getting like you had a dream like somebody was up on your ass or something like very close to you or close to your home. I'm getting someone was very close to your home as well, Virgo. It's like they were maybe like right outside your door doing something. Yeah, five of cups. I'm getting be very careful. Yeah, five of cups. I'm getting be very careful. I get like... There's something that you may step into. It's like right when you step out. The Tower, Five of Cups. I'm, I'm getting like, watch your step. That's all. Just watch your step when you step out. Five of Cups. I'm getting prosperity. Your, your movement. Seven of Swords. Someone's trying to deceive your movement. I'm getting like a, a powerful realization or download that someone's trying to deceive you or strip you of your movement. What is this? Yeah, the Empress. I'm getting that's a fact. Page of Pentacles. I'm getting universal knowledge. I'm getting a download. So you have the knowledge that you you may need to maneuver. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, the Chariot. Could be a Cancer that you're dealing with. I feel the energy of forward movement or perseverance, Virgo, when it comes to the Chariot and the Page of Pentacles. I'm getting like, uh, some of you may be purchase, purchasing a new car. I'm getting like, uh, some of you may be purchasing a new car 
Like I'm getting a new whip, a hot ride. I'm getting like red or like wheels for your ride. Like you may need to um, get your tires changed. The chariot, the page of pentacles. I'm getting you're offering something for your vehicle. Some of you may be trading in your vehicle, the Empress, for something new. What is this? Yeah, the two of pentacles. I'm getting your indecisive or your juggling when it comes to your vehicle, Virgo. You might be like, you know, I don't really need a new vehicle. The chariot, the two of pentacles. I'm getting your decision making about a vehicle. Page of swords. Yeah, I'm getting this could be um something to do with information or paperwork. Page of swords. The hanged man could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. I'm getting like suspensions. Like there may be something going on with your paperwork, Virgo. Dealing with your car. Some of you may be suspended here. Maybe from um, I don't know. You got your license suspended, Virgo. Some of your license, Brian, I'm not suspended. Somebody got DUI, two of pentacles. They was drunk as shit, driving home. The hanged man. Somebody probably got pulled over, Virgo. Some of y'all got pulled over. The uh, chariot, they pulled your ass right over. Two of Pentacles, but I'm getting there was a decision that was made. The hanged man. So maybe you were, maybe you were set free. Page of Swords. What is this? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. I'm getting you were, um, you were told to keep it pushing. I'm getting you were told to keep it pushing in a situation, or you. You will be telling someone to keep it pushing. Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Yeah, the death card. Could be a Scorpio as well. You might tell a Scorpio, you know, to keep it pushing. The hanged man, I'm cool. Shit real suspended and dried up over here. Yeah, six of wands. Look at there, your victory. This motherfucker trying to sabotage. Somebody trying to sabotage your victory. The death card, the six of wands. Somebody trying to put some shit around your victory. Some darkness up into your victory. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles, and then you have the King of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Leap, Aquarius that you're dealing with. They're going to be called up for doing what they're doing. The Judgment card. They're going to be called up spiritually. The Judgment card again, yeah. I'm getting a definite judgment on this person. The Page of Wands. Yeah, it could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. This is like a... um. This is like a, a a big kid. This is like a grown ass man who really like a big kid. The strength card, yeah. I'm getting like taming some type of beast within. Then you have the nine of pentacles, king of cups, cancer suffices or Scorpio energy, king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then you have the queen of pentacles, the emperor. I'm getting ancestors are taking over. Something like that, the judgment card. Someone's gonna be called to justice. What is this? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Could be a um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. Virgo, I'm getting it to you. I'm getting you're going to be called to justice. The Hierophant. I'm getting deliberation. Something like that. Could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm getting divine justice. Something like that. The Hierophant. The Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting you're going to be given justice for this darkness that someone tried to put around you. The Judgment card. I'm getting someone's going to be called. There's going to be a phone call. I feel like you could be called as well, Virgo, by a Taurus or by someone who's able to decipher. So this could be the, uh, the justice system, the justice card. What is this? So I'm getting a situation here, Virgo, where something's coming in. I'm getting you're watching something coming. You're watching something come in, like from afar. What is this for the Virgo? The seven of pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting you're using your discerning spirit when it comes to this. Seven of pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I'm getting heavy Capricorn energy here. Someone's toxic. I'm getting there's toxicity. Yeah, the, the magician. Look at there. Look, Virgo. This is this motherfucker who's doing the magic. This is the person that's doing and projecting. Use your discernment to pinpoint this motherfucker, Virgo. Use your discerning spirit so you can, you know, know exactly who this motherfucker is. The magician. I'm getting this is someone who has spiritual knowledge. They may have spiritual knowledge, but they may pay for practices. The magician. What is this? The queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. It's someone who has knowledge of spirituality, but they pay for practices. What is this? 
Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Look at there. Somebody doing work on you, Virgo. Somebody trying to get work done. <laughs> uh, the Emperor. <laughs> they trying to do work on a baby boss. How? The Emperor? The Judgment card? It's not possible. What is this? The Empress, and then you have the Justice card. It's not possible. It's karmically not possible. Could be a Libra. Could be the Justice System, Virgo. I'm getting something about the Justice System or Spiritual Court. What is this? The Star, and then you have the Temperance, Virgo. I'm getting uh, fixings or replenishings. Someone could be using astrology as well when it comes to you. I'm getting reconciliation. I'm getting someone's following the stars. Could be a Sagittarius as well. What is this? Yeah, the what is this? The tower. Look at there. It's giving me a realization. The temperance. I'm getting someone wants your forgiveness. Look at this. Look at the tower. I'm getting a disaster of some sort. And I feel like someone wants your forgiveness. Four of Wands, yeah. I'm getting this is relationship. I'm getting someone wants rectification. It's a Libra. What is this? <laughs> the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. I'm getting they have. I'm getting someone has nerve. I'm getting somebody got nerve. It's like you got fucking nerve. Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. What kind of nerve you got? Uh-uh. Knight of Swords. I'm getting... <laughs> this person is very clever. I'm getting they have nerve because they're very clever at what they do. Virgo, you dealing with another magician? Mm, 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 mm. King of Pentacles. Look at there. You dealing with another Virgo? You, you're dealing with someone who's comfortable in spirituality as you are. What is this? The strength card. Could be a Leo. I'm getting a situation here, um, Virgo, where you're trying to tame a beast within. Or you're trying to tame someone from doing something. What is this? The eight of swords and then you have the hermit. Hmm. I'm getting someone is trying to keep you bound, Virgo. Someone's trying to pull. I'm getting pull a wool over your eyes. Eight of Swords, the Hermit. Someone doesn't want you to see something going on in the background. What is this? The King of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. The Sun card. Yeah, I'm getting someone doesn't want you to see their growth or their expansion. What is this? Why? The Eight of Cups, and then you have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting transformation when it comes to exchanging with you. I'm getting someone... I'm getting someone has grown, but they don't want you to see how much they've grown. It's like, why wouldn't you want someone to see how much you've grown? Eight of Cups, and then you have the Six of Pentacles. I'm getting transformation. I'm getting someone's... It, did someone pass away, Virgo? I'm getting like somebody passed away. Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles... I'm getting like, child, the world. Look at there. I'm getting like, mm, Virgo, protect yourself. I'm getting protect yourself. I'm getting protect yourself first. And I'm also getting someone is upset. So they could be exchanging about you, the world. I'm getting someone's watching you on something. What is this? Eight of Pentacles and then you have the world. I'm getting this could be an Aquarius. I'm getting someone's indulging into you. What is this? I'm getting it's transformation. I'm getting someone leaves and then they exchange with you. I feel like they only leave. For you to exchange with them. Six of Pentacles. What is that? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Look at there. I'm getting someone has like a motive or mission. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I'm getting someone has motive when it comes to you, Virgo. Like I said, protect yourself. The world. I'm getting you could be being watched. 
I'm getting a PI, private investigator. Let's see. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting it's a family or a coven. I'm getting a group. I feel like this could be a group that's stalking you, Virgo. Ace of Wands, yeah. I feel like they have to take a new approach when it comes to you. The Empress. And then you have the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, yeah. It's like they have to do something different. I'm getting like they have to like get back to the drawing board. I'm getting like Three of Pentacles. I'm getting they have to cooperate differently. The Ace of Cups. They have to get like creative when it comes to you. You know, with that magician shit, with that magic shit, with the manipulations. They got a cup cup rack. <laughs> Look at there, six of swords, nine of cups, and then you have the six of wands. I'm getting your victory is protected by hidden helpers. Nine of cups. I'm getting all of your wishes will be attained, Virgo. All of your wishes will be fulfilled. Six of Wands. I'm getting longevity in whatever this may be that you're you're trying to implement. Queen of Swords. Whatever you may try to implement with your discernment, with your discerning spirit, that could be anything. I'm getting your protected. Seven of Swords. Look at there. I'm getting your protected from all deception. Anything deceptive trying to interfere in your longevity. Six of Wands. I feel like it will be shot down or called up. The Judgment card. And then you have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, look at there. It's like purification. I'm getting instant purification when it comes to your victory. Whatever it is that you're victorious in, Nine of Swords, I'm getting someone is stressing about your victory. The Chariot. Yeah, I'm getting it's your perseverance. Someone's, I'm getting someone could be threatened by your ability to continuously move forward. The Chariot. Could be a Cancer that you're dealing with. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I'm getting, I'm getting, um, it's your, your tone or the way you speak, Virgo. You have Five of Wands. I'm getting the way you speak makes someone really uncomfortable. Five of Wands. I'm getting the battle internally about you, Queen of Swords. What is this? You have Five of Cups and then you have the Six of Cups. I'm getting someone's motivated to hinder your prosperity. They're motivated to Six of Cups, Seven of Wands, but they'll be they'll be called up every time. Yeah, the Hanged Man, and then you have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, because I'm getting this person is genuinely attracted to you. I'm getting this person is genuinely in love with you, Knight of Cups. Yeah, it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Let's see, let's get some clarification cards, Virgo. breathe so virgo i'm getting rest up i'm getting relax or meditate between worlds yeah i'm getting someone's going to be called up or something like that i feel like you could be deal i feel like you could be dealing with the water sign flamingo something like that i'm getting like you two are between worlds i feel like you and this person are like two different people i'm getting someone could be operating out of their shadow side a lot more than their, you know, their light side. I'm getting someone confuses reality with, you know, bullshit. Something like that. Let's get one more. Building blocks. Look at there, Virgo. I'm getting a situation where you're trying to build an empire. I'm getting built now. I'm hearing build now. I'm I'm hearing continue to build. I'm hearing build more freq more frequently. I'm hearing build more frequently, Virgo. Yeah, to the sea. Look at there. I'm getting your independence allow you to to create, allows you to create. I'm getting you and someone are going in two different directions. I'm getting you're not even focused on this per on this person. I'm getting you I'm getting you two and someone else are going in like two different directions, something like that. I'm getting you're not even focused on this person. I'm getting you're not I'm getting you don't care at all. I'm getting you don't give a fuck. But I feel like they care a lot about you. What is this? Yeah, peace. Look at there. I'm getting someone wants peace with you, Virgo. Someone wants like rectification in a way. But it's like, you're not going to rectify this with this person. 
because I feel like you're already at peace. I feel like you already tried to string someone along to peace. You already tried to take someone to this peaceful state. But I feel like you two may have been between worlds at the time. You know, you meet people where you meet them at. Let's see. Let's get an uh, ancestor card for you. Ancestor card for Virgo Spirit. Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right, Virgo. So, you know, just chill. You know, you don't got to be right all the time. You can be wrong. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. Yeah. So I'm getting like shift your, your perception. If you're seeing negative at this time, I'm getting shift that perception into something much more positive and maybe peaceful. Yeah, she wolf. Unlock the wild within, Virgo. Unlock that wild side. Tap in. Tap in, Virgo. Spirit Fox, trust your talents in challenging times. So trust what it is that you know, Virgo, or that you get with your perception. Anything you perceive, I'm getting trusted. Let's see, you have high priests underneath the deck. Intend and create, yeah. Virgo, you're being called. I'm getting you're being called by a higher order. Some type of higher integrity of discipline, something like that. Let's see. Let's get a star seed card. Star seed card for Virgo. The void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic wound. So I'm getting stop what it is that you may be doing at this time, Virgo. I'm getting like you're going to be forced to stop. I'm getting like the planetary bodies are going to force you to stop doing something. You're just going to up and stop. I feel many of, many of you have already upped and, you know, stopped doing something that may be uh, relationship wise. Like, you know, you may have put set someone out, put someone on the side, you know, the void. I'm getting there's a void someone would like to fill with you. Could be relationship. Could be something that you were doing for a very long time. To fill, to fill some type of void within you, Virgo. I'm getting a shift in energy. I'm getting like positive energy. I feel like you could be feeling very good at this time, Virgo. Let's get one more. Yeah, loosen your grip. Density, addiction, let God in. I'm getting a situation where you may be using like um things to help you cope at this time, Virgo. Or, you know, whenever. I feel like you could be into a lot of... uh. I'm getting sweets. I'm getting sweet. Sweets help you cope. I'm getting you have a sweet tooth, Virgo. Something like that. I'm getting there's something that you have a tight grip on. And whatever it is, I'm getting loosen it. Loosen up just a bit. Whatever you use to cope with. Whatever you're addicted to. I'm getting loosen up just a bit. One more. Ancestors. <clears throat> Star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. I'm getting you have hidden secrets. I'm getting you have wisdom within you that that could be lost. That you could be unable to tap into. You could use tarot to cope. You could use spirituality to cope. Maybe to fill a void. Earth. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Yeah. You could be like using spirituality to cope. Maybe with death. Maybe with your ancestors. Maybe to connect with your ancestors ultimately. But I'm getting look a little deeper than the tarot. I'm getting you don't even need the tarot.
Some of you may be addicted to tarot. And I'm getting you don't even need tarot. Let's go further. Let's get a green card. So you have dope here. Look at their dope. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of you are dope. A lot of you are like very unique in your own way. A lot of you have like many, many ideas and uh, creative talents that could be showcased and displayed. I'm getting all around the world. Hidden secrets lost. You have hidden secrets that are lost within you. Because you want to hear, let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Wealthy. Many of you are destined to be wealthy. Dope and, and wealthy? What? Whatever it is that you do for creative, um, for your creative talents, whatever creative talents you may have, Virgo, whatever you may do for creativity, I'm getting you, you have potential to be dope in it. You have potential to be wealthy in it. What is this? Broke boy. I'm getting a situation where you, you may be uh, struggling at this time, Virgo, or you may know someone who could be struggling. Like, you know, everyone's struggling is different, you know? So it's like, I'm getting you can help. You can help someone out with whatever it is you do for creativity, whatever it is that's dope that's within you. I'm getting there's something very dope within you, something very cool within you. Some of y'all selling dope. Oh my, some of y'all get rich off that dope, selling that dope. Broke boy, oh my God. Let me get one more. Zero, look at there. I'm getting a completion, Virgo. Someone could be draining you financially. Mm, 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 mm. Like many people may need your help, Virgo. Something like that. I'm getting there are many people that could use your help. I'm getting it could be whatever you do for like, you know, business. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Whatever your mission statement is. I'm getting like many people could find you to be dope, cool, or need your help in a way. I'm getting there's only one you. Let's get a love card for you, Virgo. Love card for Virgo. So you have cash flow. Look at there. What I just say? It's something about the the cash flow in whatever you may do spiritually, whatever you may do with your discerning spirit, whatever you may invest in. So that could be anything. It doesn't have to be a spiritual practice. Just whatever you invest in your time in. Peace and home. Look at there. I'm getting it. It could provide you peace within your home or within you. Hard? Something could be hard to do. You may find, like, you know, getting your practice or your business or your mission, whatever your mission may be, you may find, like, getting it off the ground very hard to do. Let's get one more. I'm getting it's not. It's not really. Slow dance. Look at there. It's not really hard. You just start off slow. You know, when you're a baby, you have to crawl before you can walk. It's like, come on. <laughs> One more for Virgo. One more in this reading. Work in progress. Look at there. You have to put the work in so you can see the progress. It's like, come on, come on, somebody. Hey, stop playing, Virgo. Stop playing so much. Cause you playing with your gifts for real. <laughs> Let's get an archetype card for you, Virgo. Prostitute, look at there, I'm getting sell. Sell, Virgo, give off. You know, they making money all kind of ways. Prostitute, they selling all kinds of shit. You got to sell, sell. If y'all sell an ass, you know, I ain't judging. Do your thing. Sell your ass. <laughs> Free 
priest. Look at there, priest. <laughs> I'm getting like you could uh, channel whatever this is that you're selling. Whatever it, whatever it is that you're selling, I'm getting channel it. I'm getting a channel priest. That's a channel. That's a one way, you know, stream of communication, you know, between different parties. I'm getting channel it spiritually. Mm, 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 mm. I'm getting it's something that you could teach, Virgo, as well. Let's get one more. Detective, look at there. Some of you are private investigatives. I'm getting that could be uh, one of your um, one of your jobs or one of your your gifts, detective. I'm getting it's observation and intuition. So anything that you could perceive or like you know observe. I'm getting that could be one of your your gifts or one of your jobs. That could be very lucrative. And I'm getting one of your gifts are blank, Virgo. It might be something you know that motherfucker's not allowed to know about you right now. It's like, we gonna hold this one back real quick. We not gonna give them this. Some shit, Virgo. <sighs> Let's get a numerology. We're gonna do the numerology. Self-love, look at there, Virgo. I'm getting, care for yourself at this time. I'm getting pour into yourself. I'm getting, you'll need to pour into yourself for a reason. Surrender, yeah, I'm getting surrender to the divine, Virgo. I'm getting surrender to yourself. 61 and 91. I'm getting 1996. And I'm getting 1991. Creativity, yeah. Look at there, Virgo. Get creative. Get into your creative juices. You're being called. You see all these other readers telling y'all to get creative. It's for a reason. Physical activity, yeah, look at there. I'm getting some of you are working out. Some of you are trying to do something different. When it comes to exercise, I'm getting, if some of you are thinking of going to the gym, do that. And do different things while you're there. So you can see effective results. Prostitute, yeah, new beginnings, look at there. I'm getting a new start for you, Virgo. Something fresh, a clean slate. Ace of Pentacles was the first card that came out for your reading. I'm getting a clean slate. Something will be wiped off or like cleaned out or cleared out. Something will be pushed out of your way. This is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where y'all can book a personal reading. All right, Virgo. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.